All right, hey guys, and welcome to my first Final Fantasy trading card game unboxing video on this channel. Uh, for those of you that were unaware, yes, there is a Final Fantasy trading card game. It's been catching on and getting a lot more traction over the years, but when this first came out, almost nobody knew what it was. Um, and I started collecting this right as it kind of came out. Not immediately, so I don't have like a bunch of Wave 1 cards or anything like that, but I did get into this um, during the time where the first set had kind of just released and the second opus was just coming out. And I made it a goal at the time that I wanted to collect a full play set of Opus 1 cards because at the time they were really cheap. We're talking about a time where foil clouds were like maybe $20. So it was kind of doable. And I was able to amass a really large collection. I took a break after Opus 4 had come out. And then I eventually returned to it around the time of Opus 11-ish. So I did take quite a hi the hiatus. But I did, you know passively collected over time and I my favorite set is definitely Opus 1 there's just so many classic cards in here I love the thrill of the chase trying to get Cloud and Sephiroth from this in particular but also I really like it because of the thrill of the chase of going for the full foil playset which means three of each card um, I'm fairly close to it I'm sure eventually on here I'll do a video that kind of updates my binder on it but I figured occasionally on this channel what we can do is just you know, I don't get them often. I don't buy booster boxes for this anymore. I mostly keep an eye out for cheap individual packs. And these packs apparently came from somebody that said they came from their tournament winnings and also Tifa tins, which means that if they're to be believed, they haven't um, opened a booster box and pulled out the Cloud and the Sephiroth and then said, all right, let's dump the rest of these packs because we're not getting another Cloud or Sephiroth. I kind of believe them, so there's totally a chance that we can get some great cards in here. So what do you say we get cracking these for those of you that uh, are big fans of Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 7 in particular, there are a lot of cards in here from that set. The art in here is definitely one of the least impressive in terms of how the set eventually evolved with like custom art cards and just really much more detailed cards in the set later on as they went on, especially full arts and everything. But there's a lot of fun chasing the cards that were in the original Opus 1 set. And uh, these packs come out to be a little less than $10 a piece. And the nice thing is most of the time when you open a foil from this, the value of that foil has a very high likelihood of exceeding the, what I paid for these packs. So hopefully we get lucky. Kind of got a sneak peek there, unfortunately, of that first card. So you get a foil in every pack. And as you can see, like I said, there's a lot of Final Fantasy, like two, three uh, kind of cards. And I'm a little rusty on my knowledge of when it comes to which of these are like super sought after in terms of the playability because there are actually a lot of people that are playing Final Fantasy trading card game these days. Um, so some of these cards while they might be like commons or rares or anything like that they might not look like anything special you'd be surprised some of them can go for like 10 20 bucks for a foil. I'm a little rusty on that like I said I'm sure once I start putting my binder together again we will start remembering the prices a little bit more. Um, now, just to make sure, these are definitely not Wave 1. Note, these are definitely not Wave 1 packs. Wave 1 packs are what the set originally kind of came out as. There's little distinguishing features where, uh, you know, in the initial wave, before they made any reprinting of Opus 1, there were little things that distinguished it. I look at the colon placement as the number one thing to tell. And Wave 1 cards are very, very expensive. I do have a handful of those that I plan on getting graded once I start getting into grading cards, which I've never done before. But I do intend on getting a lot of my Final Fantasy trading cards graded, and my MetaZoo cards, and some of my Pokemon cards of what little I have left. Okay, we got our foil coming up here. It's a foil rare, and it's a Warrior of Light. So the foil pattern on these, as you can see, they're all the same foil pattern. Every card, no matter what, will always have that sort of speckle foil, which I do really like. And if you've never seen the back of a Final Fantasy trading card before, they have a really nice textured matte finish, almost like a plasticky feel, but not quite plastic, the card itself. And then they have that nice gloss finish on the logo itself. Very, very, very nicely done. And here's here's a card that's interesting. I'll show this off in a video sometime, but the Opus 1 version of this cloud, uh, squall is actually on the left side, and his sword was cutting his throat, like the sword would extend, and this portrait was on the right, so it would go past his throat. That card was actually reprinted in Wave 2, which is what I have. I do actually have a foil of this card in Wave 1, one of my treasured, coveted cards in all of my card collection. Aerith, very, very nice foil on that when you do get it. So the rarity on these cards, um, they're commons, rares, 
hero cards and legend cards for this set in particular. There are full arts, like I mentioned, um, but we are looking for the legend card, which is the highest rarity. And the nice thing about Opus 1 is even if you get a foil common, if it's a really big character, like from Final Fantasy 7 or something, um, like say a foil Yuffie, you know, they're still worth a pretty penny. Cloud, Tifa, Aerith, because they're fan favorites. And, oh, that's a big one. That's nice. Got a Terra. Beautiful foil. These ones are from Dissidia Final Fantasy. You can see the series they denote them to here. So Final Fantasy VI, Dissidia Final Fantasy artwork. Um, some of the earlier cards, it can be a little hard to see the foilage on these in particular. It's not, uh, it's not as good as the other Terra that you can get from the set that uses um, different artwork or hand-drawn artwork, but it's still a pretty nice pull to get from Opus 1. All right, and every time I do one of these, I figure six packs is about good. You know, we'll keep these Final Fantasy videos a little shorter than others. I'm not always just going to do Opus 1. I would like to get into the newer sets as well. But I figured, you know, I don't want every video to be a super long video. So doing six packs of these Opus 1 packs, and, you know, these are not super cheap packs. So, you know, I like to take my time and talk about Final Fantasy, talk about the cards, just kind of appreciate them, take our time, not looking to blow through it. And okay, we got a foil devout. And even if I pull cards like this, you know, I forget offhand which cards I need for my binder. It's always nice to just pull them anyway, to not have to seek after the singles, because some of the singles are really drying up for this lately. I do know I need a foil for this Kate Sith, I'll tell you that much. And that, that card's like 10 bucks or so, last time I looked. All right, down to the final two packs. In case you're wondering, yes, it features lightning artwork on the pack. There is a lightning, two lightning cards in here, actually. Um, both of which are really nice chase cards. The one that uses the art from the pack and the box art is definitely the one that you kind of want to try and get. That card is like 80 bucks, 50 to 80 bucks easy. So hopefully we can see that eventually, and I do still need three of those. Okay, so here's one of the examples where the foil is really hard to see. So here's Jesse. She's foiled, but it's really dark. They really improved this. This is a starter card, so the only way to get foil starters are actually in booster boxes. Um, normally this would come in the starter set and non-foil, but this is the only way to get the foil. Sometimes starter foils can be worth a decent amount. I don't think that's one of them. But they, they really improve the foiling in later sets. And, you know, I'll open them on the channel and you can see if you've never seen them before. And I once did actually play Final Fantasy trading card games. So if I look at these cards now, I can be like from the newer sets, I could be like, wow, that's really powerful. I haven't played. I used to play it over webcam through my Discord. We no longer do it. I'm sure one of these days I might revive that because it's such a fun game to play. I had a bunch of people from my community involved and we were playing. I totally, totally loved it. But uh, no longer active with that. But I did play this, you know, for a few months, and I actually entered a local tournament and came in third place and got some free packs, and that local game store never, no longer carries the game, unfortunately. But I, I had a ton of fun with it. I built, the I built the Dragoon deck, speak of the devil, there they are. And our last foil for these pack openings is a foil Titan. So, no crazy... Oh, we got our non-foil Legend Cloud all the way in the back taunting us. We'll sleeve that up. This is one of the only non-foils that I would sleeve up from this set. We are definitely chasing the foil of that. Definitely the biggest chase card. And we'll sleeve up our Titan. So we'll do our quick little recap here. In terms of foils, we got Foil Jesse, Foil Devout, Foil Terra, Foil Warrior of Light, Foil Geomancer, Foil Titan, and a non-foil Cloud. So not the best pulls, honestly, but that's okay. I mean, we still got... I got a decent amount of these that I can still open up and do videos. I think we're going to stick to six per video. I think that's a nice round number. I could do seven, but, you know, you know, hey, what if I had 24 packs? Then that would be a nice even four videos, right? If I did seven, then it would be a little bit more awkward. Anyway, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want more Final Fantasy content on the channel, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and, of course, subscribe for future videos. And thank you very much for watching.